How's everybody? Bless you. How's everybody doing? I pray you're blessed. You look blessed. Amen. We are here. I know it's been a good minute since I've been on um, my brothers and sisters, but um, we've been busy. We have been busy. Some of you probably say, well, um, have you been busy enough to get a yes? I've been doing some crazy hours, um, you know, some crazy stuff, but nevertheless, you know, we are here. Um, I'll do this later. Um, just coming on to see how you guys are doing. I'm here in Hudson. Hudson, um, Ohio, here at the the MGM um, Little Tykes, um, picking up some toys for Walmart, you know. Got to pick up the toys for the young people, right? <laughs> yeah, we are here. Praise the Lord. It's, it's very quiet here. Um, very, very quiet on this beautiful Sunday. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day to be alive. I hope and pray everybody is blessed. Listen. Um, you know, we've been having some uh, past couple crazy days, but, you know, um, I think the last time I talked to you, I was in Atlanta, and I showed you some of our new trucks we're getting in, and we get, we getting in new trucks all the time, um, because all we run over here is Freightliners and KWs, so, um, that's all we run over here at Transport America. Two good quality trucks. I'm a personally I'm a Freightliner man because you to me for big people you have more room in a Freightliner. Now granted the sleeper is more bigger. I have plenty of room back there. That's plenty of room. But you have more room in the T680. But nevertheless um, to each its own you know that's my preference. But we are here a little time I'm supposed to be here at um, 8 o'clock this morning, but nevertheless, I got here at 12. Um, the, uh, um, the, uh, okay, so when I was in Atlanta, all right, we dropped that load, we uh, went and we was on our way to a, uh, to drop off at our yard at Laredo. Okay. I got you know, a little misunderstanding. I thought I was supposed to drop the load at our yard in Laredo, but they wanted me to deliver it. No problem. So, um, I got up the morning, that um, Monday morning, and I, because I got there Sunday night. I didn't have to be there until Monday morning. I got there Sunday afternoon, um, you know, sit back, relax, cut on the TV, order me some pizza, you know, just doing what I was typically do, you know, just rest. So, I, they said, well, can you deliver that load? No, no problem. It's right there in Laredo. It was only two miles from the yard. So, I delivered the load. I tell back to yard to pick up an in. Ran into some uh, confrontation, but nevertheless, uh, we got through with it. So, they put load to pick up in West Lake. Texas at the Woodcrafters, they make vanities, van bathroom vanities for you know, stores, um, Lowe's, Walmart. They make vanities. So I picked up that load in West Laco, and they wanted delivered in um, at the Home Depot the distribution center in Julia. Okay, so they wanted to do, um, so I get to Dallas, Texas for my fuel stop. Everything's on this move, I'm going to get it there, and I'm going to get it there, you know, on time. Now, Transport America wants to do a PM on my truck. And if you guys have ever had a PM on your truck, it takes forever and a day. I pulled into Dallas, Texas, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, at Tuesday the ninth at um, what eight o'clock at night, and 
that morning, I was about to leave. That Wednesday, the 10th, I was about to leave at around 9 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, Mr. Um, you know, personnel from Transform America ain't going to call no names. Let it remain anonymous. Not for good or bad reasons, but, you know, people get really uh, um, iffy when it comes to, you know, fake when it comes to fake you know, YouTube live. So, um, call me and said, yes, Mr. Jacobs. Thank you for Transport America. They're always professional. Um, we need to get to a thousand miles over. I said, hmm. I said, okay. I said, no problem. <sighs> Nine o'clock that morning, I went and checked in. They had a spot at one thirty. It took them from one thirty to nine o'clock that night to do a PM. Plus, I needed a new windshield. I got a crack in it, rock hit it. Um, so that threw not only my load that I had to drop off at Juliet, but the loads that I got now. It threw all my load. I had to drop off at Juliet, and then from Juliet, I had to run to. Um, get a live loader in Chicago to drop off at the Walmart Distribution Center in Oak Grove City, Ohio. Then I had to pick up an empty water there and come here to Hudson at the Tykes. And now I got the tickets to the Walmart Distribution Center in Elwood, Illinois. And from Elwood, I got to pick up in Chicago, which is a preloaded trailer. Praise the Lord. And I got to run to Chicago down to Brazil in Georgia. Being that I got the PM, that threw my whole remainder of the week off the loads. Just through it all. I'm glad that these distribution centers are to me, you know, um, because for our Walmart loads, it's, it's, it's live loads. So, because pretty much my loads are preloaded. So, I don't mind live loads. It don't make me no never mind. You know, it is what it is. So, my week off, and the reason it threw my week off, folks can say whatever they want to say, but over here they give us trip numbers, and each, um, like for our Walmart and, and other, you know, we consider them high value lows, other high value lows, they start with nine, like a 937, 936. For our, you know, our okay loads, they start with sixes. This load I picked up in West Chicago, Texas, it was. Six, six, it was six sixes and a five. That's demonic. I caught hell with that load. I said, Jesus, if I make it out of this, I said, man, this don't make no sense. Right? I was catching, I could never get, I could get the blow off me to save my soul. And that load was demonic. It had a spirit on it because I caught hell getting into the place to pick up the load. <laughs> I've never had a, the 27th of this month to make two months me over here in Transport America. I've never had a problem with a pickup number. I've never had a problem getting into shippers um, and, and receivers. Never, 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 never had a problem. Why all of a sudden I got a problem? I knew when Transport America oh, it was their fault. Uh, well, well, your pickup number starts with a 107, okay, 107, but that's not it. You know what it was? They were shucking and jiving because the load wasn't ready. And life lesson for today is that you're going to go into lockers and receivers. And some of them are going to uh, give you the turnaround because they ain't got your load ready. Or they're going to give you the turnaround because your load ain't got there yet from the driver or the product ain't got there yet. So they're going to shuck and jive and make you wait. So um, life lesson for today is that be patient. And, and and not only that, but write down all your information. You see, you want to write down all your information that you get. You know, um, you know, you want to write down your, I write down my trip number, my SID, which is a lot of times my pickup number. It's not my pickup number, the pickup number, I write it down. And I just write down all my information. I write down my fuel stock. So, you know, if something goes down on the Qualcomm, yeah, I write it down. So as I, I I'm just flipping, and I write down everything they sent me because you know, I'm right. So you know, that's right. Well, that ain't the number. This is the number I have. So the, they, we kept going back and forth. I sit at that shipper for um almost six hours. I've never in my in my 
I, I, I've never sit for six hours, or even when I worked for Transport America before, so they were shutting and jiving. And I knew they were shutting and jiving because when I got, um, because you have to empty off, and they want that thing, and they push, and they are nitpicking, they want that trailer clean. Oh my God, no root, no, no little pieces of wood, no nothing, no dirt, no nothing. Now some shippers have another life lesson. Some shippers and receivers, they're nitpicking about the trailers. And it, you know, sometimes it just gets on my nerves. Just load the stuff up in there. Now, um, to each his own. It's okay. So, I, uh, so I, I finally get in, um, after waiting six hours, my, my clock is done. I got enough hours to get to a truck stop. And there was a Love's in Donna, Texas. It's a brand new Love's they built. Thank God for it. And when I went out, because I had to fill up. Getting a wet clock up. Um, so I get up there, bobtail, drop my empty off, and it, dirt like this. And it was so windy in West Laco, Texas, on two in Texas, on interstate two. So windy, dirt getting in my eyes, my mouth. I'm like, oh, Lord, Jesus. So I um, get there. I'm walking up to the shipping office, and I see, because uh, uh, one thing. Can I see a full lift going in and out of the trailer that would be preloaded? Lies. Lying lips is an abomination to the Lord. But it ain't the first um, place I go to to lie, and it won't be the last place. But I pray you don't have to go to Woodcrafters that 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 are uh, building um, vanities, you know, in West Laco, Texas. And watch the the directions, you know, because this is really, um, really a uh, tricky to get in there. But nevertheless, I hooked up to the trailer. I uh, sent all my information. I went that truck stop and I shut down. I sent them an updated ETA PTA. So it is what it is. I'm glad I got it off of me. I pray to God I don't have to go there no more. So do my whole week off. But nevertheless, thanks be unto God. We're getting them. We we um we're not. You know, um, last night I picked up my empty, and uh, when I got to Grove City at the Walmart distribution center, in Grove City, Ohio, I dropped them in, in smooth getting in, getting out. Um, and another thing, if you're delivering to Walmart, have a delivery number that starts with an eight. Walmart is starting to do that now. Walmart is a bless you, brother James. How are you, my friend? Uh, Walmart is doing. They didn't used to you no, know, uh, but now they're doing delivery numbers. You have to have a specific delivery number that starts with an eight, and it's eight numbers. So, just you know, if you ever deliver into a uh, a Walmart, make sure that a uh, you have those that prepared to get in because they will not let you in unless you have that specific delivery number. So, and then I went to London, Ohio, to the T8. There's a Loves there. I mean, a pilot there also. So I went down to, to the T8. Now, as many as you know, on 70 in London, Ohio, most of their parking is paid parking. <laughs> and you know what? And I was tired. I said, you know what it is, what it is. I paid that $14 for the night. I went in and got me a shower, glory to God. Yeah. And um and I I uh I was hoping that the country pride was open, but it, it closed at eleven. I said and I said, boy, if the punches don't keep rolling, so I got me a cup of them in some Hillshire form. Um, cheese, uh, Polish sausage that they had rolling. Man, I was, because I got food in my truck, I didn't feel like doing nothing. I bought a couple of them things, some muscle and ketchup on the things in the package. I, got, I paid for me a shower. I went in that shower. I ate food, <laughs> drank my drink, took me a shower, came back in the truck, and knocked out. <laughs> got to rest. Hallelujah. Um, and you know, the seasons are changing, so the weather's changing, so it's, it's cool up here. 
Um, but, you know, that's feel good weather for me. I'm doing great. God is good. I know that's right, Brother James. Truly, the Lord is good. And I know you're blessed. Because the Bible says, the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and add of no sorrow. Hallelujah. But, yeah, we are we're here in a, a hut. Oh, you're going to to um, Elwood, um, Illinois tonight. Um, and, and they want it there by 8 o'clock. And if I'm mistaken, it's a four or five hour trip. So I got plenty of time to get it there. Plenty of time to get it. And from there, I pick up that load in Chicago. It's preloaded for me to have. And, um, and drive it down to uh, Brazelton, Georgia. So we're on the move and we're doing it. Like I said, I have been with him couple of days that's a that's a what i was in there um that's a saturday so from saturday all the way up it's a uh uh make up of, of me not being on here but uh i've just i that that last load i picked up and that, that that load took me through but i came out and came out on top glory to god and and we're doing it we're moving we're doing good, and we're, everything is moving by the power of God. And um, but listen, be patient. You know you're gonna get to some shippers. You know for my new drivers, you're gonna get to some shippers, and they're gonna give you the they're gonna give you the run around because you're loaded. Now, some are going to you loaded, but some give you the run around. You know, but and some will tell you, oh, it's at the shipper. Then you get. Oh, uh, you get to the guard, the guard shack. Oh, the, the shipper got it, Jack, because I don't have, you know, give you a run around. I can't stand this. It's like, nevertheless, we're going to do what we do. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, the weather's changing. It's, it's the week of October, you know, it's the 14th. You know, we in the third week of October. Two more weeks and October will be done. It'll be November, and I'm so ready for November. Got one, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, that might as well count that as the third week. One, two, three, four, five. Five more weeks, and I'm on vacation. Hallelujah. I'm on vacation. I'm going to Orlando, Florida, and I am excited. My family and church family are on that vacation every year, so. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. But I'm not going to stay on here long. I just want to come on here and check on. And remember the season. So make sure you are stocked up. Make sure that you have winter supplies. Make sure you have your coats, gloves, mittens, That's I mean, it got down to the 30s last night. I know, that's good sleeping weather for me. God. Um, make sure you're stocked with food, you know, uh, bread, you know, if you got a refrigerator, if you don't got a refrigerator, get you a cooler, stock up, make sure, start doing that now, get your winter clothes out, long johns, got, I, got, man, I got some toe ball, I got some, well, I, I like dressing comfortable, so I got me some um, jogging pants on, get your coat, your gloves, you know, you, you preparing because winter's going to be here before you know it, brothers and sisters. And you get out of the truck, um, sitting in the freezer because you ain't got no coat on, ain't got no no thick clothing. That way, just cutting through you like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> you need to and, and, and start doing more um, extensive um, pre because that cold weather, you know, it ain't no joke. You know, especially if you leave your truck off, you know, make sure you got air. Make, check your airlines, you know. Uh, make sure there's no crackage or breakage in your rubber seals by hands. You know, you want to go back and check the uh, air pressure in your tandem. You know, but especially if you got an old school trailer that don't have the uh, the uh, device and that pumps air in your tire when your tire gets low as you crank up your truck. So you want to make sure you got your air gauge. You know, check the pressure in time. Check the um. Oil and your hub oil seal. Make sure it's not dry. It's not cracked. Make sure it's got oil in there. Cause guess what? You get to driving. You know, 
all in there. So that I'm going to say, whoop. <laughs> it's going. It's just going. Whoop. It's just going to come on off. And next thing you know, you, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you know, it's going to fork in. You're done. You know. Um, so make sure you got all. Make sure you check your fluids. Make sure you are, uh, um. Especially in the morning, check that oil when your truck has sit those 10 hours. Especially if it's time and check that oil. If that oil is low, you need to some to it, or you need to call your shop, or you need to call the shop manager. Hey, what type of oil going to the truck? Your, most of your truck companies, like mine, they'll put oil in here for you. So when your truck gets low on oil, you can add, you can add to it. But when you add to it, Mark it on the, the bottle, and, you know, if it's a see-through bottle, but try to mark it uh, to tell you how much your truck is using, you know, oil, until you get oil. Now, I got a fresh PM, but I still check my oil, you know. But anyway, um, check your fluids. Wash your fluid. You know, make sure you get the, um, the one that's negative, negative 30, especially if you're going to the cold state, so you know what your, your um, the windshield wipers won't freeze up. The lines inside of it won't freeze up. You can still clean the windows, you know. Um, and make sure, you know, um, you're just doing a pre-trip, you know. And if you go to them states that that's snowing, Arizona done got snow. And, 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 I mean, so, you know, the states are already getting it, brothers and sisters. So, you know, you want to do those pre-trip, pre-trip, pre-trip. If you go in the states and they got snow. And you got snow up to your step. You know what you need to do? You need to go outside. And you need to make sure. Now, if you got sacks, if you got an an, an exhaust that runs comes out on a stack, you good. But if you got a grass burner, the exhaust that runs under your truck, you better make sure there's no type of debris, no type of snow under your truck. Because guess what? You run, especially if you idle your truck, if you idle your truck, that few to come. It is a flood. Yep. You got to make sure there's no debris upon We call them, we call them, you know, old school call them grass burners, you know, because the exhaust runs under your truck, you know, and you got to make sure there's no debris under your truck, no snow, nothing like that, because those, those exhaust fuses will come back in your truck and you go to sleep and you won't wake up. So you want to make sure, and, and, and if you got a pack, and if you got a tri pack, you know, you want to make sure there's no debris up under there where the um, exhaust comes out of your tri pack, you know. You don't want to make sure things is clean, things is looking good. Uh, and you want to make sure you are, uh, um, if you're going to places where I ask, make sure that uh, you, um, if you go to places that have ice when you drop your trailer, don't set your brakes. Because if you set your brakes, that causes air to get in. And get your uh, airlines, and guess what? Your airlines are frozen. They gotta cut them, eat them all, all kinds of things. So when you go to places that that gets real cold, your trailer breaks. Just set your truck break, so air will, will remain in your airline. You know? So um, set them trailer break. When that thing's that, psh, it's over. Especially if it's dropping down to freezing, man. It's out and if that happens, take it some alcohol, put it in your airline, run that alcohol back there and constantly do it. What you do, you pour it in your airlines, put your airlines back, so it'll push that alcohol back there because alcohol melts ice. It'll push it back there and then eventually, you know, it'll break loose, you know. If you can't get nobody to you or you don't feel like calling nobody, just keep you some alcohol. I'll, the, there are things always keep my drawers back all always keep WD forty it's a lifesaver because you're gonna get some some of these tandems you can't slide glisten them down glisten them babies down I'm talking about greasing things like about if I had chicken y'all ain't saying nothing greasing babies down I guarantee you with a few more bumping and shaking them them they gonna break loose and I will glisten them down again you know um you're gonna get some places your trailer doors and it won't open. The listen that I'm talking to them grooves and them rivets and glistening things down and, and work it. When you work it, it it'll open up 
for you and the next driver that was at the so right here. And so I like to help the next driver. Help the next driver. That driver helps the next driver. So I always keep alcohol, WD-40. I always keep cleaning supplies because, you know, you want to keep your truck clean. You know, it's come sometimes so you run hard. But you can't keep your truck clean. You, know, you keep it neat. That's why I like, we, that's why I like in all of our trucks, we got blowers. You put my floor out. I blow up because, you know, dust accumulates, you know, you're, and you know what dust is? The dead skin is you shedding. That's all, that's all dust is, is dead skin because of you shedding. So just, I keep my truck, I open up my doors, I roll down my windows, and I blow out my, my seats, my air, my floorboard, I blow out real good, and then I ride down, let this baby air out, I roll up the windows. I always keep water, 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 water. water. Wash my hands. I can't get to no bathroom. I use it to drink, and I use it when I can't get to no, um, you know, if I'm in register, and I, I use it to bathe. Right. I use it to bathe. So I always keep water, cleaning supplies, WD-40 alcohol, and I always keep me a, a wretched, a wretched set. You know, I have a butt, uh, a bolt, or a nut, or a, a screw gets loose, a screwdriver. Flat head or regular I could just screw it in uh, make sure you know I keep me a good I keep me a good head of you know you know I like this one because I bought this one this is the atomic beam in it atomic beam so I like keep your good handy daddy flashlight got me a tire thumper and like, and like I said last time, always keep you some Dawn detergent to keep your windows clean, you know. Because you don't want no nasty windows. And a lot of them places, you know, a lot of them places, um, that water ain't nothing but a colored water. So, you know, it is what it is. So keep, it, keep your windows clean and nice and pretty so you can see. You don't want no 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 distorted vision or blurred vision. When you're riding down this road, and you always want to keep you an air hose, you know, or air hose you can hook up to your airline and pump your tires up. You know, they like the first at a petrol um, or a, a flying J um, pilot or a, a uh, loves, you know, about $20, $30. They come in orange or red, different colors. You can plug up to your airline and you can a uh, Pump up your tires to reach to the back of your trailer, and also if you at home and your tire needs to be pumped up, you can use it. That's what I be using it for when I go to the house and I see my tire blow. I'll cook it up to my airline, crank up my truck, cook it up to the airline, blow my tires up, and I ain't got a but I know I'll send it if I send it to the convenience store to pump up my tire. Y'all ain't saying that. So, um, I always want to keep that. And, you know, keep it, keep some fuel in your truck stop. You know. Um, when they ain't got no wedgie to clean my window, I got my own one. I got my own wedgie. I got my own one I can clean my window. Picked it up at a Petro, and, uh, that's sure I picked, picked it up at a Petro in, um, in Louisiana. Yeah. It, oh, shit. Bye. So, I don't do bees. Bees stingy. I don't do bees. I reckon because of the cologne, I don't think I'm a big flower. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, I always keep that. And I keep, you keep perks, you see. And you always make sure you stock up. Make sure you always want to arrive. And you're prepared. Listen, drivers, if you don't learn nothing or hear, you always want to be prepared for the unexpected. Always be prepared. Make sure you stay stocked and you are prepared for anything. So if something goes down, you're prepared. You see what I'm saying? So you know, um, you know, be prepared, stay prepared, stay focused, get you plenty of rest. Don't be fatigued. Don't be out here driving and you sleepy. Pull over, shut down. Make sure you. That's a little here, Transport America. Yes, Lord, send in that updated ETA PTA. Yes, sir. I refuse. I don't do that stuff. I used to. 
you know, I've driven with companies. I ain't gonna call no names. Oh, get the low, get the low, get the low. We don't care how you do it, but you, you, you gotta get that low down. I'll be drunk, I'll be like this. When you got the shake, when you got to slap yourself and, and do like that, uh -uh, it's time to pull over. I will. And running off the room. <laughs> The Roman strips, you know. Then you feel yourself dead. Ba -da 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 -da. Come on, wake up. You can tell yourself to wake up. You can throw water in your face. You can do this to death. Your body is going to shut down. It's time for rest. It's time to go to sleep, y'all. It is what it is. You know, you, 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 you can do all that you want to. But when it's time, when it... That B wants to get in the vehicle, but he ain't getting in here. Uh huh. No. He ain't getting in here. I didn't even want the window thing. He's going to get me something. You know. But anyway, um, but yeah, so pull over. Do not drive fatigue. Do not drive sleepy. Pull over. Get you some good rest, you know. And uh, whenever you pull in the shippers, just make sure you pay attention. Make sure you pay attention. Put down your head. Just hit. Wait for them to load you up. Um, let them slap the seal, and you're on your way, and you're driving. And make sure you, because you're going to go in some places that the shippers and receivers are. You got to go through some small towns. Like here, get here to this this one in Hudson, you you got to go through a couple small towns to get here. It's back in the neck. Um, but be careful. Watch your following distance. Uh, watch those tandems. Your trailer tires to make sure they're not drifting away, um, falling off a soft curb. Because once that trailer is to dripping off that soft curb, it's going to pull you right on down. So you always want to make sure you're watching them tandems. But I'm doing good. 30 minutes is long enough. I'm about to get up off and I'm about to put something in my belly. I'm going to eat me a little something. Go back in fix me a sandwich. Yes, uh, a good old sandwich. <laughs> But y'all be blessed. Take care. And remember, patience, patience, patience. You got to have it. And just, you got all your stuff down. Um, so I'm going to give you the run around. But stay encouraged. Make sure you have your duckies in them. You know, you never want to get to a place and it, well, that's wrong. And you got it written wrong when it was when it was sent to you right on your Qualcomm. Write down everything they send you. Pick up. I don't care if pick up numbers write them down because one of them is going to get you in there to get loaded and get you out so you can make money you know what I'm saying? and um just stay alert be patient stay alert drive keep it in between the lines watch the post of speed limit especially through construction zones ran into two state troopers um this morning spoke over they me speeding in the construction zone. It's been, let me tell you something. Ohio don't play games anyway. Ohio is on top of their stuff. 24 7 365. Ohio, or let me tell you some Ohio State Troopers, they don't have an office. Day. <laughs> These jo them jokers is out here all the time. <laughs> so I don't play coming through Ohio. So, um, but y'all be blessed. Stay encouraged. This is the man of God. But let's do it in Jesus' name. I want y'all to see be blessed, stay encouraged, um, take the Lord with you wherever you go. If you can't take him, you better not go, all right? We love you. This is the man of God, Emre J. Singer, um, Transporter America. We are the truck that's changing trucking. You come over here with us, and we will do you good. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns um, about any, oh, yeah, to James. James, is it James that lives in Hudson? Well, no, he lives in Hudson. Does he live in Hudson? It's a, I got one of my subscribers. His name is James. If you, if you're reading this or if you listen to this, I haven't forgot about you. You can get you, um, there's a lot of trucking schools that you can, um, enlist to, um, you know, um, go online, start. I got mine through Celadon, but they no longer have their, their school, you know. Um, go online. You got to start somewhere. So I don't, I don't knock Swift. I don't knock, um, JB Hunt. I don't knock, 
um, Stevens Transport. I don't knock CRST. I, even though some of the companies are terrible. But I don't knock them because you got to start somewhere. You got to get your feet wet somewhere. You got to start somewhere. So you got to start somewhere to get your CDLs and progress and grow. So go online. Go to Google. Type in some of these companies or in schools. You know, those are companies right off the top. I know Hirschbach Motor Lines is about to start a school. Um, but you got Swift, J.B. Hunt. Um, you got a uh, C.R. England. School Stevens does a school, um, and uh, who else does a school? CRST has their school. That's five. Right there. You got to start somewhere. So go, go to Google, type in some of these companies' schools, and uh, see what what a uh, you know. I know when I was driving when I went to facility, school was free. All you had to do was sign a contract to drive in for six. To a year, six months to a year, you had to drive a Celadon, and your contract was paid in full. So, get you a school that does that, or get you a school that, uh, um, you know, you pay half or whatever, you know, whatever suits your needs. You choose that school. Get your feet wet. Um, you know, get your feet wet. It's not. It's not going to be easy. You know, get your get get getting your CDLs is not easy. You got study you got to crack down you got to study and you got to pass it so go online search for the schools that uh, offers all such for companies that offer schools offer training i know over here at transport america um we don't offer no training but when you first get your cdls you go out with a, a trainer over here at Transport America. So after you get your CDLs and you want to come over here, you can. And you go out with a trainer and they'll train you and you can get your own truck and start making your own money. So, um, that's the second B. My truck must be smelling good. Um, but yeah, to, to my subscriber names, you know, um, and thank you for the, I'll send some more subscribers over. But, uh, go online, search, search for the company that offers schools mm -hmm. and, and just go and just go from there. You know, whatever school needs. Like I said, I went to Celadon, but they no longer have the school. And they have the ability You know, you might have something like that. Prime. Prime offers a school as well. You know, I passed them coming through Ohio. I mean, or, uh, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri. Passed them. So, um, you know, Prime offers a school. There's a lot of places that offer schools. All you got to do is just get out there, search for them, go to school, get your CDLs, get you, get you some experience, and then move on, you know. Move on. So, uh, but that's it. That's all the time I have. We love you. Send some more subscribers. Hope you got any more questions, comments, or concerns. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Email me at man of God. Nine at gmail.com again that's man of god 749 at gmail.com uh we'll get messages to the james i pray everything works out for you for you finding a school for you can get your cdls and come on out here with us there's plenty of free love to have you and if you got any questions concerns about transport america hey if you're looking for miles you're looking for great home time you're looking for good equipment you're looking for a good company that has stability that has commitment that has loyalty and integrity you need to come on over here with us at trans america truly we are the trucker company that is changing trucking y'all continue to be blessed uh comment so free feel, feel, feel free little tongue tied to leave your comments below